Welcome back in the kitchen one more time with Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Guys, today we make your pasta and corned beef. It's just amazing recipe we can have in the kitchen for the kids and for the family. Um, basically, I want to say it's a simple dish and a very easy to prepare. Corned beef is way back for you guys. Remember Gilbert days, September month is Gilbert month. So guys, hopefully you will enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel. Please leave your comments. Thank you so much for watching the YouTube channel, guys. It's just amazing, guys. So today, as I said, corn beef and pasta. Enjoy the recipe. Put a little cheese on top of it. When you make it for the kids, if they do like cheese, you want to put some veggie. Put some veggie inside of it. It's a great recipe, and you can do this at home. Very easy, simple, quick, easy to prepare. So thank you so much. One more time again. Remember, get a copy of my cooking book on Amazon. Price won't change, it's your price. Thank you guys so far who support me, and here's a lot more to come. So, guys, thank you and see you next time. Bye bye. Nice and lovely. Welcome back in the kitchen one more time with Chef Ricardo Cooking Program, guys. We're gonna show you how you can fry up some corned beef and serve it with anything pasta, rice, ready for you like. Very quick, easy, and simple recipe. Basically, I got some sweet corn in this bowl, I got some white onion and some mixed pepper and spring onion this is a can of corned beef corned beef you can get it in your local shop supermarket whatever you like i'm already prep up this is just a medium sized white onion and half of three mixed pepper i know we have some right here some spring onion and roughly a one and a half cups of sweet corn i keep saying guys when you want your things to taste right you have to put things to it so guys we're gonna show you or you can fry up all of these ingredients Lovely. So basically, some olive oil straight inside of the frying pan like this, guys. I want you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. That's roughly two teaspoons of olive oil. And I want to simply say to you guys, remember, you can do the same thing at home which I'm doing at the moment. That's the olive oil. And now my frying pan is on the stove about roughly three to four minutes, probably a little bit hot. So we need to get things rolling. So basically, before we us to get things going, rolling, what we're gonna do? Put some white onion. This is for the white bone and everything out of your bench. And salt it on. Nice and lovely. The salt is after about 3 to 4 minutes. And as I want to simply say, okay, you can add many more stuff inside of this front pan right here, guys. I'm telling you. So now this is saute top. I'm gonna add one can of corned beef straight inside of it. It's basically simple to tear it apart and crush it. I want to say you can add some red pepper, more spring onion, and some even some chopped tomato. It's a fresh thyme, if you do like. But I want to simply say to you, my daughter, she doesn't like this. Well, it's too much vegetables. But guys, as I say, you can add more ingredients to it. As you can see, take a little time, crush it just like this, guys. Then pour it in. Lovely and nice. Now what we're gonna simply do, we're gonna add some sweet corn. We have a lot of sweet corn in it. Add some ketchup. Just a little pepper. Coarse pepper. A mix just like this. Bright, looking lovely and nice. You can see all the green pepper, the yellow pepper, sweet corn. Nice one. Just put a little bit more ketchup inside of it then a little pinch of paprika not too much and also 
just a little pinch of salt and pepper season just to pick up the flavor of the corned beef the stir as you can see it's looking lovely and nice so guys this is one of the best way how you can serve and cook up your canned beef really nice and beautiful now we're gonna serve it out by some pasta make you guys can see how this one look enjoy the recipe give it another two more minutes now this is finished i'm gonna share it out make you guys see exactly what i'm talking about Lovely. So now I just shoot some pasta. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna put the corned beef right on top of it, just like this, guys. Beautiful and really nice. So hopefully, you guys, will like the recipe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. We got a lot more recipe like this coming out for you, as you can see. Looking so lovely, lovely and yummy, yummy and nice. So guys, enjoy the recipe and thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program. Corned beef can go with anything you like at home. Dumpling, rice, rice and peas, wild banana, crushed potato, whatever you like. So guys, thank you so much for watching Chef for Cutting Cooking Program and see you next time.